Film Public Spot. I'm George. Welcome to a new episode on this series on refactoring Terraform modules. And today, I will be showing you how to implement multi-region replication in AWS ECR. And so if this series and the content of this channel lines up with your interest, hit the subscribe button and join me in this journey of learning by doing. So, let's start coding. I have two specific use cases for today's show and tell. So the first use case is, imagine you are part of a global team and you decided to use AWS ECR as the repository of choice to store your Docker images. You have developers that are based in the US, Europe, and Asia Pacific. And because you are based in Asia Pacific, you decide to set up AWS ECR in an Asia Pacific region, like let's say Sydney region. The developers that are farther away from the region where your Docker images are stored will face latency issues when trying to pull your Docker images. So that's the first use case. The other use case is suppose you are setting up a disaster recovery strategy and you want to have your Docker images replicated in at least two regions. With these two use cases that I just mentioned, the general direction to implement support for multi-region is to essentially create your repositories in all the regions that you want to operate in. And then in your CI CD pipeline, you publish your Docker image to all the regions, which results to unnecessary time and overhead to the process. And to better understand this, let's see what changes are required to put this in place. So this is my infrastructure code for building and publishing my Docker images to ECR. This infrastructure code publishes images only to one specific region. And if I open my main.tf, you will see a set of resource blocks that will create the repository as well as the actual image. If I want my Docker images to be published in other regions, I will have to update my code by heading to my providers.tf and create AWS provider aliases that point to the regions that I want my ECR resources to go to, as well as Docker provider blocks for each of the region that I need to set up. My current default region is AP Southeast 2. And for simplicity, let's say I want to set this up with US East 1 region. What I will do is duplicate my current AWS provider block and then change the region to US East 1 and then add an alias to this block that I can reference later on. I also need to duplicate my current Docker provider block. Because I'm setting up US East 1 as the new region, I need the address property to point to the appropriate ECR URL. So let me head to my locals.tf and see how the current AWS ECR URL is set. What I'm going to do is duplicate this line, and then I'm going to introduce a new local parameter. And then for this local parameter, I'm going to change the region. And now back to my providers.tf, I can then update the source of the value of the address property to point to the new parameter that I introduced. And then I also need to set an alias for this new provider. And to consume this new set of providers that I've just created, I will head to my main.tf and then I'll duplicate this AWS ECR repository resource block and then set a new name for this resource block. And to make sure that this new resource will be created in US East 1 region, I will add a new property called provider and point this to the alias that I've set up that points to my AWS provider in US is one. I need to go through the same process for my Docker registry image. So if I select this block and duplicate it, and I will add the provider property, and this time I will set this to the alias that points to the Docker provider in US is one region. If I end up needing to add more regions down the line, the infrastructure code becomes longer and longer and will be in a very unmanageable state. There is actually a better way of doing this. In ECR, you can configure replication so you don't have to worry about pushing Docker images to multiple regions. So let's go ahead and implement this. At the end of my main.tf, I need to introduce a new resource block for my ECR replication configuration. This resource needs a replication configuration block. And inside this block, I need to add the rule that will be evaluated for the replication. This rule block needs a destination block, which will define the region and the account ID where the image will be replicated to. I can configure a maximum of 25 destination blocks on this resource. But what I will do is make this destination block dynamic. And then I will introduce a for each property that will loop through a variable called replication regions. 
let me head to my variables.tf and define this. And now back to my main.tf. And because I declared my variable as list, I need to change that to set. And then inside my content block, I can then start populating my region property. I also need to provide the registry ID property inside the destination block. This property needs to point to the AWS account ID that the Docker image will be replicated to. If you need to replicate to a different AWS account, you can define a variable that will hold the AWS account ID. And because I'm operating on the same AWS account, I can just introduce a data reference that will pull the account ID inside my infrastructure context. I already have this set inside my data.tf and so all I have to do is use this data reference. The next property block that I need to introduce is the repository filter block. This property will define the repository or repositories that I need to replicate to other regions. The first property on this block is the filter type. Currently, only prefix match is supported. So let's set that value in. The next property to set is the filter property. This will be used as a prefix filter to determine which repositories will be replicated. I'm going to set the value for this property to ps dash. This will fetch all repositories that start with this string and replicate to other regions that I will configure later on. And that is all I need to set up for this new resource block. And for the cleanup, the first thing I will do is remove the new resources that I've created previously. And I also need to remove the new local parameter. And then on my providers.tf, I need to get rid of all the new provider blocks that I've introduced. The last set of changes that I need to do is on my variables.tf. Firstly, I need to update my repository list and make sure that the list of strings start with ps dash. And then I'll update my replication regions and maybe even add EUS1 in the list. And now that that's done, let me go ahead and stand up my infrastructure. So let me head to my VS Code terminal and prepare for the run. Now let me switch to my browser and then access my AWS web console and then open the ECR page. And these are the two Docker images that I've deployed. Now let me duplicate this page and change the region to US is one. I have the same set of images that show on this region, which means the same set of Docker images are replicated from Sydney region to North Virginia. Let me change the region to EUS one. And my Docker images are replicated on this region as well. And that's all I have for today. Stay tuned as I continue to explore ways of refactoring Terraform modules. In the meantime, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and send me some likes if you find this useful. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like the content on this channel. Until next time, keep learning and stay safe. See ya.